So welcome again. I am Muhammad Islam, visiting faculty member, Food and Crop Sciences. So our today topic is networking. First of all, I will show you the complete agenda of this lecture. So in this lecture, we will discuss the data communication as we discussed earlier. Now we'll discuss the network, the concepts and the benefits and the type of computer network, network topologies, network devices and the OSI model between the sender and receiver. So if you haven't seen the previous lecture of data communication, basically the data communication is the prereg of this lecture. So if you haven't seen the data communication lecture, so I recommend you people to please, please watch the data communication lecture first. So you will gain more knowledge you will uh, you will have uh, more uh, more concepts regarding networks so i recommend you people to please watch the data communication lecture first then you will move to the lecture that is network so i will share you the definition of network concept basically network consists of two or more computers that are linked in order to share some resources like printer cd exchange file or some electronic communication okay so this computer on a network may be linked through some cable like we have discussed in the previous lecture the media either the guided or the unguided media the guided media in which we have a physical wire network and in unguided media there is some electromagnetic waves microwave wireless media okay <clears throat> so benefits of network what is the benefit of that network help to enhance the connectivity first of all network help in sharing of hardware ease of management of data internet data sharing uh, easy communication between the two devices money saving obvious is a benefit is an advantage now there is a type of computer network you will see in this slide so depending upon the geographical area coverage by a network, it is classified as the land, van, man, and pain. So we'll discuss one by one. This is a very easy topic. You can easily understand if you have seen the previous lecture. So in land, local area network that is used to communicate among the computer devices usually within a office or a building or a home like you can see in this diagram you can easily see in this diagram i will show you by using this spotlight like you have a terminal computers that are connected to some wire or maybe wireless okay so basically within an office building or home there is a local area network you can build for sharing the resources for sharing file to the multiple user basically is limited in size typically of 100 meters or more than a mile is a very fast local area network with speed from 10 MB to the 10 GB. 
per second. So require little wiring, typically a single cable of each device has low cost compared to main or van. So some advantages are speed, cost, security, email, resource sharing, disadvantage, expensive to install, require administrative time, file server may fail, cable may break. So these are the advantages and the disadvantages. So in LAN, local area network, there is a peer-to-peer -peer network and there might be a client server network. Okay. You can uh, build as, as per your demand, as per your requirement, like peer to, you can build peer to peer network in which there is no, uh, uh, in which there is no server. Everyone have equal, equal access and there is no a master slave. Like in client server, there is a master that is called server and the respective and the other term, our terminals are on the clients you can easily see in this picture peer to peer and there is a server that connected to the hub and all the workstation and resources are connected to that server directly okay. so we'll discuss the man metropolitan area network which is a large computer network that usually span a city or a large campus okay so a man is optimized for a larger geographical area than man example telephone company network that provide a high speed dsl to the customer and the cable tv network like okay, i'll show you in this uh, picture there are number of schools that are connected to man in void area network, basically a geographical area that covers a country, continent, or even a whole of the world. The main, the main is two or more land connected together. The land can be many miles apart. The cover great distance van may be transmit data over the lease, high speed phone lines, or wireless links such as satellite. So the world most popular van is the internet. Like you can see in this slide easily, there is a wide area network in which you can see more than one resource over there, more than one LAN network there. So personal area network is basically a computer uses for the communication among the devices, including telephone and personal digital assistant approximately to an individual body a pane is a network that is used for communicating among computers and computer devices include telephones in the close proximity of around a few meter within a room so pane can be wired or wireless the reach of pane is typically a few meter so basically a coastal area network now we'll discuss the network topologies like we have discussed earlier the local area network so in local area network, how the computers are connected with each another through which topology. So there are the number of topologies you can uh, uh, you can use to uh, connect your terminal computers. So basically network topology is a physical layout. You can say that the physical layout or in a way in which network connection are made is called topology like it refers to the location of the computer how the cable run between that computer it is important to select the right topology for the purpose use of a computer network there basically there are the three basic topology the very first is bus topology the second one is star topology and the third one is ring topology now we'll discuss one by one that the bus topology is all network nodes are interconnected peer-to-peer -peer using a single open-ended cable both end of the burst must be terminated with a terminated resistor to prevent to prevent what to, pre to prevent both ends of the burst must be terminated with a terminated resistor to prevent the signal bounce 
okay so the bus terminators and the nodes that are connected to that bus so basically a single while all the computers are connected so there are plenty of advantages and disadvantages easy to implement and extend disadvantage is basically difficult to troubleshoot if one fails there is a trouble to identify which of the system the limited cable and number of stations and there are so many disadvantages you can see now the second is ring topology so you can see that <coughs> there is a ring and all the computers are connected to that ring each computer is connected to the next computer with last one connected to the first sending and receiving of data take place by help of token if some if one computer send message to the other computer so there is a token of uh, uh sender there is a token uh, that have uh, that have the sender so everyone see the uh, token if the token is not matched with the uh, computer ip uh, the computer uh, did not accept uh, this message and move to the next computer so by this token sender and receiver of the data take place by the help of this token so there are plenty of advantages and disadvantages are uh, the type of the network topology is very organized no need of network server disadvantage each packet of data must pass through all the computer between source and slower than the start topology because if the computer if the first computer send message to the last computer in the ring topology so the message passed through all the computer and the computer matched the token with the computer ip if they did not match so move to the next computer so that's why this topology is slow now there is a start topology in which there is a hub okay all the computer are connected through that hub so the disadvantage of this start topology if the hub fails how devices fail all the computer all the server down if central device fail whole network goes down so network devices are very important because network device and devices are used to build a network so component used to connect computer as well as other electronic devices in order to share the resources such as printer fax machine so there are number of huge number of network devices in which hub switches routers network bridges gateway firewalls wireless access points so we'll discuss one by one in the next slides hub is basically a central device small rectangular box joins computer together through the ports on the back of that hub four to eight ports all computers uh, cable are connected on these four if computer one want to communicate with the computer three the data will be sent all the computer on the network since hub do not know the destination of the information it receives Uh, now you can see in this diagram of hub network there is a main pc and there is an ethernet cable that connect to that hub device so in start topology i have discussed that if the central device fail whole system whole network goes down now switch switch is basically a rectangle shape in which there are plenty of ethernet for the computers uh, ethernet cables are connected to the switch now in this diagram you can easily uh, see the 
switch device and the computer that are connected to the device so what is router router is basically very important in these devices basically router check the best route in which the, the data traffic is less the router have a routing table manage a routing table and select the best route of the data uh, from the sending to the receiver side chooses the best path now basically there is a router and there is very a huge network over there so router basically select the best path that sender sent to the data to receiver with minimum time so what is bridge bridge is basically connect uh, a layer 2 osi model will discuss in uh, next slides what is osi model so bridge is also a device connection between two separate computer networks or to divide one network into other like this you have a different modem different devices and the bridge that is connected the two networks the bridge is sometimes referred to the routing so what is gateway this is an important concept a communication device that provide a remote network with connectivity to the host network on the internet a node or stopping point can be a gateway okay a computer controlling traffic within a network or a gateway node a gateway is also associated with the router how a gateway works so basically the working of the gateway is very important the gateway node act like a proxy server and a firewall the gateway use forwarding table to determine where packet are to be sent like this is the example you can easily see that there is a access gateway so user device first of all user authentication is very important first of all user authenticated using uh, the uh, using uh, the uh, user and password and then go to the server and use the information or group information so gain access or resource by authenticating the network so first of all user credential is very important if user have that credential so we easily can access to the server so in mid there is a access point there is a gateway that can check the resources or tables so what is a firewall firewall is basically hardware or a software that protect a computer network from the unauthorized access that is an important concept how firewall work that is important firewall filter the information coming through the internet connection into a user private network you have a private network and you can uh, you have you need some information from the world wide web from the internet okay so in between there is a firewall the information process and filter out and then you can receive the information to control traffic in and out packet filtering proxy server state inspection like this is the whole diagram in which you can see the firewall there is a private network private computer personal computer you request from some way web page to the world wide web and in between there is a firewall that inspect the data and packets basically hacker or intruder uh, bridge that firewall and come into your computer and manipulate your information some information so in between there is a firewall that stop the unauthorized users to access your computer Furthermore, we have a wireless access point, VAP VAP, mostly known as VAP. 
a small hardware device featuring built-in adapter antenna and radio signal configured node as a VLAN. The access point usually connect to the router hotspot application. Wireless user can connect to the internet apps are used throughout a home network, usually through on access point. You can easily see in this diagram of a wireless access point that connect to the router and you can easily uh, easily uh, attach your wireless PC card adopter and use the internet. Now the important concept we will see uh, we were seeing in, uh, in the last slide the OSI model layer 2 in which we discussed the bridge. So what is the OSI model? Basically open system interconnection, a model between the sender and receiver introduced in 1978 and revised in 1984 from seven layer to five layer. I will discuss each of them. There are the seven layer basically, the model act in a frame reference design communicating and networking products. So basically from low to up there is a physical layer then there is a data link layer network layer transport layer session layer and then you have a presentation layer and after that you have an application so in application there is a network process of application the application is basically uh, your browser like you have a sender uh, uh, like uh, uh, there is a sender and receiver okay now in sender side the seven application layer works and in the receiver side the seven layers also work same like yeah, sender send an email to the receiver like an example sender send a message to the receiver or send an email so the application first of all uh, the user needs an application in which uh, in which user can send a user can type email and send to the receiver so the application uh, uh, in application layer the application is needed to write and send a message so basically there is a even there is a browser browser because um, uh, there is a browser uh, a browser that works as an application you can um, browse uh, it uh, browse the google uh, uh, Google uh, email to send a message to the receiver. So presentation layer is basically data representation, representation of that data, the format of the data. Basically, the data is encoded to some uh, some other language that in which intruder or hackers, uh, if receive that data, will not manipulate that data. So in the second layer basically the first three four layers are the logical layers like we have discussed the application layer uh, is the browser the presentation is basically the basically your message like you have sent the message hello uh, i am muhammad islam to the receiver so uh, presentation layer the representation of the data is encoded in some other font transformation of data and some other form so a session is basically the inter-host communication session is basically the sender and receiver uh, and there is a there is a building of session like uh, i will give you an example of facebook like if you uh, put your credential and login to the facebook so you can exit the browser and you can uh, you you re uh, you can uh, again again uh, uh, open the browser and search facebook you can see that your facebook is open because of this there is a session built between your server and receiver with a limited time that is of maybe 50 minutes or 40 minutes in between you can again open without any credential so there is a session built between the sender and receiver like if you send the message on whatsapp okay so basically there is a session maintained between the sender and receiver so you can send the message no other body can uh, receive your message uh, 
or read your message, read your personal or private message. So there is a transport layer in the sender side that discuss the end-to-end -end connection and there is a network that select the best path and your IP address from which data sent to the receiver and there is a data link layer that access to the media which medium is used okay so in every layer from up to down the the header is added to the layer from seven layer the seven header is attached to the message so in the physical there is a stream of bit binary transmission so the data is uh, break down into the number of in a stream of bits and transmit to the physical Y. so in the receiver side all the so in the receiver side all the seven layers are unpacked because on receiver side the data is received and the seven headers are also attached to the message so in the receiver side one by one in physical layer first of all see that the data and remove the header and then move to the data link layer check the access to the media and remove that header then check the address and the path from which the data is received if the data is received that from that path so, so or from that ip address so easily remove that header and move to the upper transport layer and mm -hmm. check the end-to-end -end connection and the transport layer either udp protocol or the tcp protocol these two protocol are mostly used for data transportation so if the sender send that uh, send the data through this protocol uh, through udp protocol the receiver check the protocol if the receiver have the udp protocol then the uh, uh, then the transport layer header removed and move to the session layer and check the session build between the layer if the session are correct then move to the presentation layer and the data is decoded and like we uh, send the message hello i am muhammad islam In the receiver side the data was uh, something like uwms yxw3 etc so in presentation layer data is transformed into the original form like i have sent the message i am muhammad islam so data decoded into the original form and the application the browser that uh, data have been sent through like a g from gmail browser so you have to open a gmail browser and receive that message i am muhammad islam so basically these are the osi reference model in the next slide you can easily see the what i have discussed so far so in each slide everything is in detail you can easily read out and uh, learn what we have uh, in this slide so if you have any query feel free to ask me in the comment section i will come to you shortly and respond you according to your question so i'll summarize this topic i have discussed the network in detail in which i have discussed the osi model different network devices from hub devices from switch from bridges and router etc in detail and discuss the real uh, uh, in the real time scenarios with examples Furthermore, I have discussed the network topology, star, mesh, star, hub, or ring topology. Furthermore, uh, furthermore, discussed the uh, types of network, LAN, LAN, main in detail, PAN network. 
benefits of the network, advantages of that network, and the disadvantages of that network, and disadvantages of that network. So hope you will get, you will easily get it, and you will easily go through it. Thank you so much. Allah peace.